all of these rhythms have a 3-4 time signature. So each bar is going to need to have the counts of 1, 2, 3. And I see quavers in this grid. For all the rhythms in this grid, I'm going to add ands. So each box will have 1, and 2, and 3, and. This box here, 1, lines up with the first note. It also needs an and. 2 with and, 3 with and. I'm going to circle one and together because they're both inside that first note. Two and, three and. One B. This minimum needs two counts with the ands. And then that leaves us with three and for this note. 1C is nice and straightforward. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 notes in this bar. They're all equal. So that means 1 for this, and for this, 2 for this, and for this, 3 for this, and for this. And I need one circle for every note, so six circles altogether. And then 1D is also quite simple. It's only one note for the whole entire bar, so all the counting has to just fit in one note. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and see if you can find any other rhythm boxes in the rest of the grid that match these ones and write those in. Okay, let's come back to 2B. 1 and for the first note, 2 and for the second note, which leaves us 3 for this one and for this one. Okay, 2C, we need 1 and 2 and for that minimum, which leaves us 3 and, which looks good. 2D is kind of the reverse of that. Three a one and that middle one is going to have two and three and make sure two and and go in the same circle. Three c is like the reverse of that one, isn't it? One and is together, two and and then three and is together. 3D is kind of the reverse of 1B. 4A, we need 1 and 2 and 3. Don't forget the final and. Yeah, 4C is kind of the opposite of 4A. Five A, one and and that leaves us with two and three and for that last minimum. Five B is the same as three C. Then five D is the same as four A. Okay, so you can pause the video here and check that all your counting matches my counting before you go on to the next stage.